What do you see out there? Zoogles. Strays by the looks of it. We unwittingly disturbed their territory on our way here, and now they're looking pretty riled up. So, feel like you're making headway? You know, sorting through things? All I know is Xion needs our help. As for what happens after that... <sighs> Say, how did you get back down here from Lenigus, anyway? I came down in a Renan starship. I have Naori to thank for that. What happened to her? Did she come with you? She stayed behind. Just as I wanted to get back to Dana and my people, Naori's place was with her fellow Renans, performing her duties as the Maiden. Neither of us asked for the power or roles we were given. I suppose we felt a kinship with each other in that sense. But even then... Wait. So you mean it wasn't just Danans like you that Lenigus abducted? You're saying they forced Naori, one of their own, to serve against her will as well? Even within Renan society itself, there exists a hierarchy. I don't think she was ever given the option to refuse. Despite that, she did everything she possibly could to serve her people. The very same ones I ended up slaughtering. And even after that, she still helped me escape back to Dana. <sighs> She stayed behind on Lenigus to help any of her people who survived. I owe her more than words can express. A debt left to fester for what? Three hundred years? How do I even begin to make up for something like that? In all honesty, you don't. You can't atone for what's happened in the past. I don't think anyone can. Be it several centuries ago, or just yesterday. What are you saying? And I might as well give up? I'm saying you don't have to be a white knight in shining armor. <laughs> Back after my brother had passed away, it was you who told me that his dream lived on inside me. And you did the same for him, for Dohalim, when he was ready to give up too. You were there for both of us. You know what I heard? I heard you telling me to keep fighting. To strive no matter what. Then I was out of line. I had no right to ask that of you. No, you're wrong. Those words were exactly what I needed to hear at the time. In fact, I would go as far as to say that I wouldn't even be here had I not heard them. Left to my own devices, who knows when I would have been able to pick myself up. Besides, it's not like killing all those people was a choice that you made of your own free will, right? The truly terrible ones are the people who abducted you. The ones who forced you to wield that power. They're the ones you should be blaming. Not only that, but that guilt you feel inside? That's all the proof you need to know you're a good person, Elfin. Do you understand? If I'm still allowed to fight and keep on living, then damn it, Alfin, so the hell are you. <sighs> but if you're still not convinced, then ask yourself this. What is it that you've really been fighting for this whole time? Go on, ask yourself. What I've been fighting for, huh? Alfin, are we gonna go rescue Shion or what? <sighs> What's gotten into you, man? Aren't you worried about her? Do I even have any right to be? If you were in my place, you'd say, to hell with all that. What do you want to do? Sounds like me. Pretending I have all the answers is kind of my forte. <laughs> Come on, man. Snap out of it. This isn't like you. Look, I get it. You finally remember your past, only to feel like you've lost yourself again. You're in shock, and who wouldn't be? Worse still, you blame yourself for what happened. 
And yeah, I don't agree, but that doesn't mean I don't understand either. But here's the thing. None of that's got anything to do with Xion. I guess. It's about Naori, isn't it? Look, you're still here, aren't you? Who's to say this chick isn't alive and kicking out there somewhere, too? <sighs> Fine, I've said my piece. The thing is, though, where does this leave Xion? I... <sighs> my power consumed me once already. I left behind a path of fire and destruction. And the same thing could happen again. I can't guarantee anyone's safety, including Xion's. So you think we might get burned up because of your sovereign powers? I can think of worse ways to go. Come on, fight this thing! What happened to the guy who talked to me after my dad died? The one who cared enough to reach out and save me? That's the guy I was proud to follow. Not this faltering imposter who's taken his place. Law. <sighs> no, I'm serious. What's gotten into you, man? Just give me the word and I'll beat some sense into you if that's what it takes. Now, I'm gonna ask you this once and only once. Are you serious about rescuing Xion or not? What's it gonna be, Alfin? <laughs> what do you think? Of course I want to rescue her. Hell, I'd do it right now if I could. So then quit griping and do it already! <sighs> Listen, you're probably right about all this. Alfin... It's exactly like you said. Whatever happened in my past has nothing to do with Xion. But there's still so much that I... There I go again. So much for the inspiring Alfin of old. Eh, he could be a pain sometimes. Besides, even a hero has to let the crack show once in a while, right? Yeah, I guess you're right. Just give me a little more time to fill in the cracks. And thanks, Law. Hey, don't even mention it. You've totally got this, Alfin. I believe in you. To the inn, I guess. What is it? Zoogles, that's what! They're almost at the village gates! Any closer and they'll be house hunting. I knew we shouldn't have cut through their territory. That... sounds bad. Can you fight? No shame in bowing out if you're not up for it. Kisara's right. You don't want to go overdoing it. I... <sighs> I'm up for it. Really? You ready? As ready as I'll ever be. It's now or never, right? Alvin, right. Great to have you back. Now let's do this! Sharp people. If we don't act fast, they're going to get into the village. Right. We need to hurry. That food there looks pretty tasty. Yep. We can fix that new recipe with it. I eagerly await the final result.
Remember, if the paint's too much... We've all got our own pain to deal with. I'm done letting others pick up my slack. Here they come! We can't let even a single one through! There's a firm no Zugal policy. Fine by me. Let's get to work then. You're mine! No Are those further. arms even natural? Oh, You're mine! Uh, uh, Dragon Sword! We're ready to go! Now you've gone and ticked me open. off! Be my guest! Did you see this coming? Swallow Dance! Dragon Sword! This one's mine! Take this! Switch to off! Eat this! I'll take you all on! Ha! Flare the Malisha! In an instant! Impact Cross! Alfin, you okay? I'm fine. This pain thing really hurts, huh? But hey, at least you're still alive. It wouldn't be called pain if it was pleasant. It can be pretty useful, though. It's good motivation to improve and get stronger. Guess I've got a lot of room to improve in that regard. Anyway, I'm glad we could protect the village. Especially after everything they've done for us. Yeah. You know, this saloon kind of reminds me of home. The people here have hidden themselves away out of the fear of being found, always watching their backs. Though in the end, home was destroyed anyway. That won't happen here. Oh? Is that a hint of fighting spirit I sense? Yeah. I won't lie. Some of these memories will take a while to process. But I've learned something, too. My rage. This fury I feel at our so-called rulers. It comes from having so much of myself stripped away from me back then. Friends, family, home, they took everything from me, and left me with nothing but guilt. I was completely alone. At least that's what I thought. But not anymore. Since I awakened, I've met people who I care about. Friends who hold me up. Friends who make me feel like I'm worth something. And I won't lose that. Not ever again. I'll protect those bonds with everything I have. That's why I need to keep fighting. But Xion comes first. Of course. First, we rescue Xion, then we defeat Volron, and liberate Dana. Everyone, will you fight with me? Say the word and I'm there! Certainly no objections. Then it's agreed. Our next stop will be the capital, Pelegion. According to the villagers, there's a huge cliff separating Thistleum from the capital. Luckily for us, there's a path we can use to climb up. Sounds like a plan. Let's go. We don't know what lies ahead. We should prepare well before we venture forth. Yeah, can't exactly fight at the top of your game when you're hungry. Good point. Let's stop by the inn and plan our next move from there. Okay. Why? <sighs> Damn. 
Damn it. Hmm. What? Is that so? Okay. Great job. I'll teach these small fry who's the apex predator of these waters. Just watch and see. Let's not get ahead of ourselves now. I guess we're having fish for dinner tonight. Saying we should check the Owl Forest? By the way, how is Mahavar doing? Uh... <sighs> Wait, don't tell me we still haven't found him. It's not like we haven't been looking. I've covered the whole length and breadth of the coast, but... All of the other crew members are accounted for, including us. But we weren't able to find Mahavar. He's still missing. I see. Perhaps he couldn't bring himself to abandon the ship. <laughs> you mean at the bottom of the ocean? Damn it. We don't know that it sank. We all washed up on the same shore. If the ship went down, isn't it strange we haven't come across a single piece of debris? Do you think he might still be alive somewhere out there? I think stranger things have happened. Whether he's alive or otherwise, We've exhausted all the avenues available to us. All we can do now is press on ahead. Fine, let's get going. Thistleham was founded by Danon's fleeing the tyranny of Renan lords, right? But when you first came, they must have known Dohalim was Renan. So why do you think they let us in? They almost didn't. But it wasn't just Dohalim they were wary of. They didn't trust any of us. Even the weird Danons just like them? When you live life in constant fear of being pursued, it's only a matter of time before all outsiders start to seem a potential threat. I suppose that makes sense. So how did you convince them to trust us? You saw how destitute the village was. They needed food, badly. We hunted some Zoogles for them. That seemed to do the trick. Of course, a little magic-assisted roast didn't hurt things. Never underestimate a full stomach's ability to put a person at ease. It turns out a hearty meal can be a powerful weapon. <sighs> Something's on your mind. You having second thoughts about rescuing Xion? Of course not! Xion's our friend! Almadria was the one I hated. For as long as I can remember, she served as a symbol to me of everything Renin. But ever since getting to know Xion, I realized it doesn't make sense to group people together like that. Every individual is different. I see. Besides, the situation with Almadria was something else entirely. I'd already decided I wasn't going to kill her, but when I saw her die right in front of me, a part of me thought it served her right, that she'd gotten what she deserved. But another part regretted that someone else had come along and killed her instead. Don't get me wrong. If I had the chance again, I still wouldn't kill her. But it's not like I'll be shedding any tears now that she's gone. <clears throat> It's all so confusing. I don't know how to make sense of any of it. Who said it had to make sense? Huh? Rinwell, you've done nothing wrong. You've started to question the beliefs you've held all your life. It's only natural for you to feel disoriented. You didn't give in to the hatred you felt for Almadria. You made a choice not to kill her. And that's significant whether you realize it or not. 
As for what it means exactly, that might be worth taking some time to figure out on your own. Some time. Or don't, if you don't want to. It's just an idea. I'm still searching too, remember? No, you're... I think you're right. It can't hurt to keep searching after all. And hey, thanks, Kisara. Have you guys checked your equipment lately?
I'd like to check their wares, if you don't mind. You can never be too prepared, but did we have to spend so much? Thanks for waiting. Eat as much as you like. around here it feels like I'm melting Calaglia was pretty hot but at least the air there was dry out here it feels like I'm trying to walk through thick soup I can hardly breathe it's so stuffy and don't get me started on the insects you hanging in there hoodle <laughs> it's brutal all right I can feel my energy being drained away just by walking all this vegetation makes it hard to keep an eye out. Keep your wits about you, everyone. And watch you don't keel over while you're at it. What's needed at times like these is a relaxing hot spring. That would soon help us adjust. And where do you expect us to find one of those? What about you, Alfin? All that gear, and you hardly seem to be breaking a sweat. Yeah, I guess when you've lived a life devoid of pain for as long as I have, even feeling hot and bothered could be a welcome change. Well, lucky you, I guess. 
Just don't expect us to carry you when you pass out. this thing. Ugh. Is that the Zoogle we were told to dispatch? Followed up by all these plants if we stay in here. Indeed. I much prefer the forests in Menencia myself. Not that I don't agree, but maybe now's not the best time for Elda Menencia pride. Like that could easily be fatal. Just as well, I'm here to stop. Fire 
Everyone still in one piece? Yep. I barely worked up a sweat. My body seems to be doing okay. Rinwell, mind if we chat a little? You're still awake? I've always been something of a night owl. Ever since back when I was someone's property. Turning in for the night only made the next day come quicker. I wasn't in any great rush. Ah, uh, sorry. What about yourself? Care to share something from before I knew you? You were part of a mage clan, right? Must have been handy being able to rely on magic for everything. Hardly. In fact, not at all. Magic's not so special when you're not allowed to use it. Always scared of who might be watching? Right. Sorry about that. I guess I've read too many fairy tales. We were still made to study it every day. It doesn't make any sense if you think about it, studying the very thing you're being persecuted for. But that's what we did, just like our parents and their parents before them. Honestly, I don't even know how far back it goes. If memory serves, mages have been the stuff of legend for ages. Even as far back as three centuries ago, they were myths. Your people were persecuted even before the Renans got here. Yeah, the more I think about it, the less it makes sense, though. I mean, it was astral arts that let the Renans dominate Dana, right? Why didn't mages end up being the rulers of Dana then? Maybe they tried, but they just didn't have the numbers. Or maybe domination just wasn't something they were interested in. Have you ever considered it might have been something like that? I guess I haven't. I wonder why magic alone attracted the attention it did. Swords can be just as lethal in the right hands. Why not ban them? My best guess? Swordsmanship can be learned by anyone. Magic's more of an exclusive club. So, you either have the gift or you don't. When something's not easily obtainable, it's hard to comprehend. 
People are scared of what they don't understand, and fear leads to persecution. So the problem's not magic. It could just as easily have been anything. Yeah. Night, everyone! I want to go back to bed.
Victory nonetheless. We have a long way yet to go. Refrain from losing. <laughs> There's the Zoogle we were asked to handle. No Grant choice. Me the Denied. Lion. Look sharp. Raining cross him! Now I'm You're finished! Take this! Armor won't save you! This one's mine! Eat this! Raining slash! Undive! Blow away! First strike! Raining slash! No escape! Grant me the strength to march on! Damn it! Stoop back! Stand back! I'll trip it up! Blow away! Here I come! Grant me the strength to march on! Lionheart! Here I come! Talent Hurricane! Hurricane Strike! Watch this! Do it! It's over! In an instant! Impact Claw! Together, there is nothing that can stop us. Indeed. As one, we are unrivaled. And... That is our greatest strength.
What's up? Once we get to the mountain, the terrain won't be easy. We should rest up here before pressing on. But what about Xion? She's waiting for us. All the more reason to conserve our energy. Huh? It's not only the mountain. Hard though that may be, it's a pittance compared to what follows. Namely, Volron. We wear ourselves out now, or worse still, get injured. We might as well show up gift-wrapped. Right, Kisara? That's right. Besides, Alfin still hasn't fully recuperated yet. I'm fine. Don't stop on my account. Oh, really? Well, in that case, it's me who wants to take a rest for a while. Does that suit you better? <laughs> a little bit. So, Alfin, 300 years, huh? Care to share the secret to such a long and healthy life? I wish I knew. Once I left Lenigus, the next thing I remember is waking up in Calaglia. Everything in between is a blank. You mean, there are still gaps in your memory? I've heard of starships with devices that can stave off imminent death by putting their passenger into a deep sleep. They're usually only intended as a temporary solution until proper treatment for an ailment or injury can be obtained. You think he might have been asleep in that starship for 300 years? But why? What would be the point? Might this Naori have had a hand in it? What do you mean? If she's Renan like you say she is, she would have understood how to operate the starship better than yourself. <laughs> You're saying she deliberately put me to sleep for 300 years? Dohalim, that's a bit of a leap. Forgive me. I spoke out of turn. I'm merely thinking aloud, that's all. Shion and the maiden Naori. After 300 years, it's not unreasonable to suspect they may be related. Shion is nearly the perfect image of her, yes? She also just so happens to be connected to you. Is it merely a coincidence? <sighs> like I've told you a million times already, I wouldn't know. Well, if you're absolutely certain that it couldn't have been Naori... And I guess I must have been mistaken. Complicated machinery can sometimes break down or have failures. Sorry for being presumptuous. <laughs> Hold on a sec. Alfin, you said the mask was to placate you, right? To keep your guilt and rage in check? And you were wearing it the whole time you were asleep, right? I guess I must have been. So that's 300 years you were wearing it. It's just a hunch, but do you think that the mask might be... The reason he lost all his memories? All but a select few strong ones, so deeply ingrained in his psyche that he saw them in the form of dreams. It's not completely out of the question. In which case, maybe it was the mask numbing his sense of pain, too. It's certainly possible. As for how, I wouldn't know, but the dampening effect on his psyche could have manifested itself physically as well. <sighs> I'm sorry for snapping at you back there. It's thanks to you that I feel like I'm... No, that we're finally getting somewhere with all this. No apologies necessary. Reading others' feelings has never been my strong suit. So he finally admits it. I really hope Xion's okay. I get why you're concerned. But if you don't rest when you can, you're going to regret it. She's right. We need our rest to conserve our strength. Yeah, you're right. Thanks, you two. No problem. We'll save Xion. I know we will. I'll see you again tomorrow.